Welcome to the wilds of my backyard. Um, it's January in Boulder. Uh, I've got here one litre of water and a uh, seven inch MSR cook pan and a little grew stove, a little stand. The stove is uh, preloaded with uh, one and a quarter ounces of um, heat. That's the yellow heat, your uh, antifreeze for gas lines and uh, we're going to use it to boil up this one litre pot of water in about six minutes. Uh, the grew stove inside there is made using a coke can, a seven and a half ounce uh, coke can, um, one of these. And uh, grew stoves also come in uh, different sizes, there's the uh, smaller can and also the standard soda can size. Biggest the amount of fuel that this can take is about one and a quarter ounces. So let's fire it up and we can just sit and wait. Water into the pot. This is just straight tap water. Stopwatch. This should take about six, six and a half minutes to reach boiling. As I say, that's one liter. Uh, what is that? Something over, what's that, uh, about 40, sorry, 34 ounces of fuel, something like that. So back to the groove stoves. The stoves are very simple. As I say, they come in different sizes. We've got the small one, the uh, medium, the big one, and the medium size. Really, they're just made from the uh, bottoms of two soda cans, like any of the other soda can stoves, pretty much. But these are really simple to build. About an inch high of the uh, bottom of one can, and inch and an eighth of the bottom of the other can with the center cut out. Having the center cut out is really handy because when you come to pack this inside your uh, mess kit it'll just sit around the fuel bottle there very tidily. The one fits into the other like so and the fuel comes out of the, sorry, the uh, vapor comes out of the uh, grooves and ignites giving you in this case eight different uh, points of flame and the, of course the center point. As I say the advantage of these uh, uh, cans is how tidily they roll up inside your um, windshield and take up so little volume inside your uh, mess tin, especially if you're carrying a small mess tin. As I said, for this test I'm using a large tin, uh, MSR 7 inch pan, and size does matter. The wider the diameter, the more heat your pan and therefore your water will absorb, absorb before the heat is lost around the side of the pan. This windshield here allows uh, air to come in underneath and to is the uh, hot air to escape all the way around. Um, as you can see it's just held together with two simple paper clips or you can use anything and therefore change it to whatever size you need.
We're five minutes in now and I can hear the uh, bubbles forming on the bottom of the pan quite loudly. Coming up on six minutes. Okay, 6.48, and we have a rolling boil. So that was the crew stove. That was a mid-sized one. That's about a, uh, two and a quarter inches in diameter. This one is a two inch. It's exactly the same amount of heat output. Maximum fuel you can put in here is about one ounce. This one is an ounce and a quarter. Honestly, I don't know how much you can uh, fit into the larger size, but it is quite substantially larger. Probably getting close to two ounces. The problem is if you put too much fuel in, and they're only this one, one inch high, uh, the fuel will boil over. So you have to stick with one ounce, one and a quarter ounce, and maybe two ounces, I don't know. That's it. That's um, I boil up some water.